Okay, Olivia, how did you go with your monitoring over the last week? Um, yeah, look, I'm, I managed to get it down every day, so um, I don't I don't really know if I've done it right or got got the right stuff down, but yeah. yeah. Look, that's a great effort, mm. especially considering how I recall from last week you were quite concerned about being able to remember everything and being able to capture things on your activity schedule. Mm. It's great work that you were able to finish the record. Um, we're going to have a look at it today and um, perhaps put a few ratings on the page about how you thought your week went overall. Okay. Would that be okay with you? Yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah? Okay. I'm going to put a few different areas on the board that I'd like to invite you to rate. Mm -hmm. And as I put each one, I'll explain to you what I mean. So the first thing I'd like you to do is have a look at your week and rate how active you felt your week was. By active, I mean how many activities you felt that you were doing in the entire week as opposed to the week being quite empty and full of gaps. And I'd like to invite you to, to rate it out of 10. 10 being the most active and busy week that you've had and zero being quite a, um, an empty and perhaps passive sort of week mm. for you? Gosh, well, I, I slept until like 11 or 12 every day. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I didn't do nothing, but it's, uh, it's not all that active. So maybe like a, I guess a two out of 10. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So pop that down on your paper too, so that we can keep a record and we can look back at this at the end of treatment mm -hmm. as well. Okay. The second thing that I want you to rate is whether there were activities that you engaged in that were pleasurable, things that you enjoyed, things that were fun, things that were meaningful to you. Mm -hmm. 10 being the most pleasurable week that you had and zero being the things that you did mm -hmm. um, were not pleasurable at all, were not enjoyable, were not fun. Well, I um, I guess I went, I went out to dinner with some friends on Friday, which I haven't done in like I haven't been out with friends in ages. So that was mm -hmm. kind of fun. And then um, one of them I think knew I was having not such a great time, so she called me on Sunday and we kind of chatted again. And I, um, so I guess overall, like it was maybe a a four. It wasn't like a particularly enjoyable week, but um, but I did. There were some times that that were kind of nice, and you know, I I kind of enjoy watching TV a bit, and, and so yeah, like a four. Okay, so in your recording, you noticed that there were a few things that you were doing in your week that brought you some pleasure and some enjoyment, yeah. and yeah. you put that at a four. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. What I really appreciate about what you're doing here, Olivia, is that rather than just honing on a specific day that you might have been dissatisfied about mm. or the most difficult day in your week, that I can hear that you're trying to keep a broad view mm. about the week in general. Yeah. We can often fall into that trap of going to the most negative thing that has happened in our week and getting stuck on it. Yeah. So I really appreciate that you're working hard to look at the week on the whole. Mm. Which leads me to the next rating, and that is sense of achievement. And this is whether you were doing things in the week that brought you a sense of achievement, things that you might have been putting off, let's say, or avoiding mm. that you managed to finish, tasks and responsibilities that you took care of. I kind of see you shaking your head there. Yeah, not a lot, to be honest. I, um, I mean, I got a, I got a couple of things done. I had I had a rent inspection, so I did clean for that basically because I was forced to. I don't know. There's lots of things again that I was supposed to do or wanted to get done and I didn't. Mm -hmm. I so I'd probably put that at like a, a two maybe. Okay. So yeah, didn't can't remember the last time I really felt like a sense of achievement yeah. in the week. So okay, that much. What I'm hearing from you is that even though you were doing some pretty challenging things in your week, like preparing for the rent inspection and cleaning your house, it didn't give you that sense of, aha, I've done it, I've mm. managed to do this. Well, like, I did feel that a little on those days, mm -hmm. but when I look back at the week on the whole, I kind of go, I don't know, I'm not doing, 
I'm not doing very much. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of days where I didn't seem to really get much done at all. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I guess that's how I'd rate it right now. Yeah, okay. Let's look at the final rating then, which is routines. And this is about how structured your week was. Mm -hmm. Whether you had planned lots of activities and did them or whether things were more spontaneous. Mm -hmm. Whether you were able to keep fairly regular routines in terms of your sleep and your meal times. Mm -hmm. In this case, 10 would be having things fairly structured and planned and quite consistent from day to day and zero being that everything was changeable, that right. things were pretty inconsistent from day to day. I mean, it's not totally all over the place, um, but I don't, it's not like I get up with an alarm or anything. I just kind of wake up when I wake up. Mm -hmm. um, I had a couple of things, like obviously the rent inspection and the, the dinner with my friends, like they were planned and mm. I did them, so... I can hear them that it wouldn't be entirely at a zero. No, mm -hmm. not like not a zero, but maybe like in the past I've, you know, when I was managing to work, I would mm. get up at a certain time every day and go to work and I don't know, like it, it's like a three compared to what mm -hmm. maybe it's been in the past. So. Okay. so relative to how you were before, yeah. your current lifestyle does not lend itself to mm. a very structured schedule. No. Okay. Thank you so much for putting a few ratings on your weekly activity schedule. I also know that part of the monitoring last week was to record your mood overall mm. from day to day. Yeah. And I suppose what I'm curious about is looking at these ratings that you've put mm. on your schedule in terms of how active you felt your week was, how pleasurable it was whether you did things that brought you a sense of achievement and whether it was fairly structured or quite spontaneous and unplanned. I'm curious to know whether you have noticed any patterns that might link these areas to how your mood was like across the week. Well, my mood was, well, it was low for the whole, like it never got above a four. Mm -hmm. um, Trying to have a look. The day it was the lowest, which was a two. Mm -hmm. I basically, oh gosh, I was like napping in the afternoon. I didn't do anything nice that day. Like this, oh, I watched TV, but mm -hmm. I don't know. That was like that day looks pretty all over the place. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really much routine there. Um, okay. Mm. Olivia, is what I'm hearing from you that um, at least on the day on which you noticed that your mood was lower, it was also associated with things like lower pleasure and yeah. fewer routines? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So if pleasure drops and routines drop, that your mood tends to be low as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess that's the case. And like, you know, I know, you know, I said when I was working before, I see hard to tell which came first but mm. I was feeling better and I definitely had more of a routine at that mm. time I used to really like having kind of a a routine to the day I just don't have that anymore okay mm. I'm too exhausted yeah sounds like the routines have had quite a huge impact on your mood and how you yeah. feel each yeah. day yeah. yeah how about the level of activity as well as achievement are there any links there to your mood what's well, interesting the day the day that I went out with my friends that was higher like so for me that's the that was the one kind of social scheduled activity I had in the week mm -hmm. and I did that and it um, I never feel like doing those things mm -hmm. like <laughs> you know um, I don't really know why like how I got myself there because I remember thinking I really didn't want to go but mm -hmm. I did and um, that was probably one of the times I felt best in mm -hmm. the week um, and I know also um, like my dog is always at me to go for a walk and mm -hmm. 
I feel really bad because I don't walk him as much as I should. But when I do, like I, I noticed there was a, um, I remembered on Monday when I was playing with him, like that was probably one of the times I felt a bit better as well. So I guess when I, when I do stuff like that, it um, seemed to help a little this week. Okay. Um, that seems like really important information to keep in mind mm. um, that when you are active with things that bring you pleasure and things that give you a sense of accomplishing, yeah. such as whether it be catching up with your friends or taking care of your dog, taking yeah. him for a walk, that you tend to feel better yeah. generally. Yeah. Would that be the case? Yeah, it is. Like I, it's, you know, walking the dog, like I, just, I like it when I'm out. I don't ever feel like going, but once I do, mm. it's, I, he, he's such lovely company. It's, I usually mm. feel better, but I also feel like, okay, like I've taken care of him. That mm. was the one most important thing I had to do today. And I do, like that probably gives me a sense like that's probably one of the biggest senses of achievement I have at the moment is mm. knowing that I've taken good care of him so yeah. that helps yeah that's a great example and we'll come back to pick up on a few of those concepts um, later on in today's mm. session mm. Um, at this point I'm curious to know if there were some areas that we could change if you could change any of these areas what would you like to see different in your life well um, like I said, the routine used to be, uh, everything else just seemed to fall in around. If I had a routine and I got started mm -hmm. on the day okay, other things seemed to go better. Mm -hmm. I have no idea how to do that now because mm -hmm. I just have absolutely no in it. I don't feel like doing anything, whereas mm -hmm. I used to do that stuff and it just kind of wasn't that hard. Mm -hmm. um, and that's totally understandable, yeah. this sense of lack of energy, lack of motivation. Yeah. These are the symptoms of depression. Yeah. And we can almost expect that when we're feeling depressed, those levels of interest and motivation yeah. will drop as well. And that makes it incredibly hard to get things done that are meaningful and valuable yeah. to us.